Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 47. It is the 8th of May 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, Maidre of Pain. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half Elf Druid. I'm Sean, I play Bastiel, the Warforged Cleric. Hi, I'm Scott. I play Crumbar, who is in for a hell of a hangover. <laughs> and hi, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a Half Elf Monk. Excellent. Uh, we are down a Kitila kill, but that's fine. We will persevere nonetheless. Uh, who remembers what happened last time? We got stuck at a door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just we got, got stuck, stuck period. Uh, this, cha um, this chapter is just called Plant Growth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think, like. Like, no, bro. Adri is to never use that spell again. Um, no, I love unless it. you're out it's in the so open fun. and you never need to go the way the spell's going, right? That could fix just, a lot of problems in the nature. Or just do it, just for the banter. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So read some books, um, found some chests. Got reached, got the shit numbed out of them. I drank some wine. I fell asleep. Oh god, I'm dying. Help me. And oh. then the rest. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Tried found to. <laughs> find the door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Panicked. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like, yeah. Was, and, like, you say like, like that, like nothing really. It sounds like nothing really happened, but hundreds actually happened. Yeah, a lot of many things. Um, yeah. So. Let's review goals, shall we? Mm -hmm. How do we feel about our goals? Do any need changed? They all need changed to don't let Crumbar die. Don't let Crumbar die, please. Yeah, that'll five yeah. goals. <laughs> yep. Listen, I've been doing checks on him. He's fine. He's not like withering away. We're no. good. It seems, yeah, totally. It seems completely fine. All those patients have been quite a stocky orc, so if we need to wait for them weathering away, we've got plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, girls, I remember at the end of the last episode, we were pretty happy with where we were. Yeah, like, I, I feel so as well. So, unless Andy's got any particular changes they want to make right now, I'm happy to move on. No? no. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, goals are done. Nice and quick. Right, so, we find ourselves. In a cave, facing a door, covered in plants everywhere, in this amazing cave of wonder. So... I'm still chipping away at the frame. Yep, so you're I, chipping away with your pickaxe, um... right? I... Yeah. Kitty's obviously went for a wonder somewhere, narratively out of reach. And, uh, yeah. What is um, Reach and Arya up to? And while they're thinking, think to give me an athletics check for a bass deal. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, athletics. And then set yourself back to normal, obviously, as well. And pick yourself up from the ground. That's where you ended up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's a four, right? So that isn't the worst. Um, also, no, Scott, we mostly talked about the spell knock for ages. That's what we did yeah, last that's, time. That's what we did. Yeah, that's um, what we did. But yeah, so what happens here is, uh, as you're kind of chipping away, like, there's not even debris coming off the surrounding framework. Like, you're kind of just, like, smacking this and there's not even, like, impact marks. Ugh, okay. Yeah. I see. All right. Well, I mean, to be fair, like if you're gonna meta game rolling a six, right? You could maybe assume you're being too delicate, or there's more yeah. going on than meets the eye. The eye being a roll of a six. I'm, I'll mull it over. What would what like what my character would think? Yeah, I'm not really sure. And then we'll we'll see what Reach and Arya get up to in the meantime while you're having a how we think about that. Because we know yeah, that yeah. Kitty's obviously sat back because she tried to lockpick it and went, hmm, this needs something, like, custom. 
Yeah. May I ask, um, in relation with um, Crumbar, mm -hmm. I can't. I genuinely can't remember. This is me as a player sure. not remembering. Um, healing spells didn't seem to help him, did it? Did I, get, did, I was gonna say, yeah, I don't think I'm to use any. So. Um, okay, in that case, what Arya would do is she would cast a healing word on him at level two. Sure. To see if Mar that helps mark off any. a spell slot if you've still got some left. I, I will. Yeah, yeah. I have level two ones. I don't have level one ones, so that's uh, one thing I'm happy Save them for plant growth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, were you down any hit points, Crumbar? Uh, yeah, I was, but um, my some... mouse just decided to stop working, so I can't check my character sheet. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, I have marked my spell slot. So, okay. So I don't know if that will help him any, but I feel that um, mm -hmm. she would at least try that. Yeah. Hey, Crumbar, did you mark your health back? No? Yes? Maybe? He did say his mouse is not working, so he might not be able to unmute himself, who knows? If he is muted to begin with, now I don't know that. Scott. Hey, Ryan. Uh, sorry, I'm <laughs> unplugging my mouse and plugging it back in there. Sorry. Uh, sorry, what we said? I didn't have my headset on. Saying, have you put your health back? No, 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 not yet. I will do it just now, now that I have function of a thing. Four. Nope. What? <laughs> Healing four. Plus seven. Four. How? Is it not How is seven? It? Right? Do they not add up? It's okay. D plus four that for, does. For a oh, second, three, I thought right, I was. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay, for a second, so. I thought I was like, do I not know my spells anymore? Sorry, no, okay, that is, that is not Street. That. We are brought to you by the numbers three and four. That's <laughs> just me being very bad uh, at math. The spell was cast at level two. One, <laughs> two levels of magic. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Three points. Ah, Yay. Plus the vampire four. comes back and helps Crumbar learn math. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Like one spell was cast at two, give me three, plus oh, four. Dear. Yeah, it's, Ridiculous. It's a good series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Barr gets an education. It's, oh, man. Uh, can, you give, can you give me a con save, Tom Barr? No. Probably not, but I'll give it a go anyway. <laughs> Just roll natural 20, it'll be great. It'll actually uh, used to be quite good at con mm -hmm. saves. Just uh, constitution, yeah. Constitution yeah. save. Yeah, same, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah. the, but the, but the. That one. Mm -hmm. It's good, yeah, uh, it's really good. Cool. Uh, cool, I'll keep track of it. Enough, but it's good. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, one, one away from our, from our 20. I mean, it's, it's not, it's, not at all. six yeah, away. Six away, is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, but on the dice, uh, the 20's beside it. Oh, okay. What, so next to the 14, there's a 20? Mm. Okay. Sure. That's weird, that? but that's a weird way to I think mean, about it. it. That's how it looked in row 20, but okay. Ah, I see you're using 3D dice. Oh my god, why? Um, <laughs> god, they're horrible. Yeah, that's fine. If you like them, that's fine. You you keep using them. I'm really glad I don't have to hear them clatter around my audio. Um, but yeah, so you go to Crumbar cast your healing spell over him and um, you say the words and whatever visual effects are imparted from you to him happen but there's still no change visibly in Grumbar. Oh. like maybe if there was a visible damage like a bleeding cut or like a bruised like I don't know forehead or ego right maybe that has <laughs> like healed up a bit but yeah nothing mm -hmm. um, he hasn't just like shot up straight and went oh, I yet live you know there's still just this immovable crumbulk mm. Mm. so yeah so seem to help. Okay. reach any anything you'd like to do in the current dilemma 
chop the door. <laughs> I love to you go. Uh, Nobody's <laughs> actually tried it, and it'd be horrible if that works. So yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. So you just knock the door. Yeah. Knock the door. Yeah. If there's no yeah knocker or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, there there is no knockers on this door. This door is knockerless. Um, and yeah, like <laughs> that's. <laughs> <an, laughs> I know how, how lame. Got him. Um, yeah. Just wait till we get to session sixty-nine, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a field day. I'm just gonna take it off. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> it's what she said. What well, anyway? So yeah. <laughs> um, can can you not just you know, knock the door normally? That's what he did. Uh, he, he just knocked, tried. Yeah, yeah, he's just not done. Mm. Hasn't right. worked. I mean, or they're a yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, like it's maybe that they're mm. far away, um, <laughs> or they're very small. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, I was biting my tongue not to say. It. Um, I'm going to sit down and meditate and think about it, right? Just okay. for a wee minute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So while we're waiting on that as well, we're gonna um, go back to Crumbar. No. So Crumbar. You have a feeling like you're falling. So like you're on your back and like your your arms and your legs are doing that kind of ragdolly type falling upwards type thing. Ah, that's um, so beaver again. <laughs> and you're just falling. Um and like you kinda come to and like you you feel like the wind rushing past you like as if, you know, you are plummeting. Um but there's like no nothing really visible. Like it's like black space with like kind of again, heavy smoke. Like black smoke, oh. like rushing past you. What do you do? Mm. Mm. I take I dark vision isn't working. It it does. Do you see black smoke all around you? <laughs> You just can't see into it. I will. Do I have access to use any of my spells? I, I mean, anything that you would still have had access to, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I... I, think I, I think you used a bunch, obviously, on the Mimic, did you not? Oh yeah, Misty a step. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got, I've, I've still got four spells. Yeah. Level one. So yeah, but one whatever you've still got, you still have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Cool. Um, so no, I'm, I'm taking all of your things from you. <laughs> In fact, you don't even have all your legs. You've got somebody else's know. legs. <laughs> I needed, I needed them for things. <laughs> um, I will lift up my hands. Okay. And surrender to get some bit more light and just to kind of see if I can boost myself back to normal. My hands will start glowing and I shall boop, play a hands for three points. Yeah, do does that allow me to see anything? else around me? Nope, just you see the glow from your mm. obviously your hands as you, I guess, touch yourself and then yeah. I was waiting for that. Right on the knockers. Yep, right on the door knockers and uh, you, yeah, you heal for three points. Mm. We made it. I... <laughs> the journey. <laughs> but you're still plumbing. Like yeah, that that stomach feeling, you know, is the, it, the the drop. Is it is it a slow fall or is nope, it like plummeting? Okay, the word plummeting. Yeah, like, You're plummeting. Like, plummeting. I'm gonna keep saying it. Plummeting. Hundred and twenty um, miles per hour, right? Plummeting. I will. <laughs> while falling, I uh, kind of still look about, noticing that I can't, you know, see it, and I'll just yell out. Um, can anyone hear me? So in other words, you're going to start screaming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame uh, gravity in D&D &D doesn't really work the same as it does in a, like, 
the real world because yeah. then I could have given you like your nine point whatever it was eight one millis. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like I what is Crumbar's maximum velocity? Um, it's usually one hundred and twenty miles an hour in the air, but yeah. But yeah, like, human body. Yeah, there's a really interesting video on D and D gravity actually that I shared in the general chat here, which was worth a watch if you're ever interested. It's really interesting because it, it doesn't work. It either is or isn't there. And that's it. Which is <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it's an all or nothing thing. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, you, you shout out into the darkness, I guess, the dark smoke. And mm -hmm. there's like you and look at the afterglow as your hands fade again, as you're kind of like, again, still plumbing. Nothing, nothing shouts back. No echoes. That's probably a good thing in the darkness, by the way. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Crumbar is not my thing that goes bump in the night, so... <laughs> I mean, what's more scarier than me, right? That's probably why nothing's shouting back, right? Mm. Some falling, glowing orc is shouting hello. May I ask, because obviously I'm a bit confused myself, is that what he's seeing was happening in his head, or did he genuinely, like, disappear and is falling somewhere? No, like, you remember the last thing we spoke about, you said your healing words to him and you saw his, like, again, bruises or whatever vanish from his face. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as that. Yep, this is all, or is it? this is all wherever Crumbar happens to be right now. No, 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 no. Gotcha. So, uh, yeah, but you do not see Crumbar immediately vanish, you don't see Crumbar, like, like, falling about, you know, the mushroom bed he's lying on. So, uh, yeah, he's still motionless to you. But, what's Crumbar up to? Falling? Yeah. Uh, what's your next title. move? So, you've tried, you've tried laying hands to have a bit of a glow, and you just see your hands glow and nothing else, except the kind of dark smoke around you as you plummet through it. And, yeah. Well, and then you've shouted out to the darkness. And nothing replied. Nope. Oh, what I wouldn't do to have a job right now. And Justin Long just shouts back. <laughs> what was his name, right? Lead singer, Darkness? Justin Long? Uh, Justin Hawkins. Ah, oh, close enough. Well, Hawkins, Long, Long, Hawkins. Eh. Mm -hmm. Long Hawkins sounds like a pirate buddy. Arr. So yeah. I really don't know. I will um just continue to like scream out like if anyone's there we're falling and just kinda trying to see I guess if I can spot a an end fact can I try standing up? Yeah. So I attempt to stand up. It's because we have like some um, amazing like aerial acrobatics where we've mocapped him <gasps> in one of those wind tunnel things and it blows yeah. up the way. Um, so yeah, you try and like kind of self right yourself and yeah, mm -hmm. you just stand in billowing smoke. So I've stopped falling. Uh, it still feels like you're complete, like everything motion, everything's shooting up past you. As if you are plumbing, but you like you don't have the feeling of falling anymore. You're standing. Okay, so I can feel like, a, like ground beneath my feet almost. Sure. It's you like know, like I, 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 I can feel a surface that I'm not going to, to fall through. You're, you're no longer you're no longer plummeting. Yeah, but mm -hmm. everything else still looks like yeah. you are. All the smoke still um, rushing past you and up the way. I will start. Kind of creeping forward. Just define creeping forward for me. Creeping. <laughs> not, 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 like, not. I, like, in the falling darkness, decided to <laughs> creep <laughs> forward. Well, you know, <laughs> also, we don't want up. the Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm standing up now, so I'm, I would start, like, easy walking forward as if, like, I was walking on, like, a beam or something like that. Like, oh, you know, okay. that way, yeah. like, if mm -hmm. you work on mm -hmm. something that you're not too sure about. So, take a few steps. Is it all okay? Mm -hmm, yeah. You still seem to be able to, like, what, 
you can't see what you're standing on, but you definitely seem to be standing on something. Mm. Mm. I make any strange noises during this game, it's the pain from moving. You're just uh, RPing my uh, <laughs> ouchies for me. Yeah. Mm. I will just continue to walk forward. Yeah. Now I'm a bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, like you're, you're, as I said, you're not in this weird, like, permanent perma falling state anymore and you you kinda of like righted yourself and you don't feel like the the rush of gravity like pulling past you or whatever. So yeah, like you just kinda of um, walk off casually into the kind of like black smoke. And then yeah, um, and that's fine. We'll, 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 it's okay. We'll fade out of you there and then we'll okay. come back to you know, the the, the people that didn't drink. So <laughs> So yeah. Um Cut like I don't know five minutes past maybe of um, waiting on the knock and whatever Arya and uh, Bastille got up to mm-hmm. and uh, yeah there's still no no reply but he's gonna wait longer if he's want depends what's the plan uh, when when Kitty uh, gave the door an inspection it was was it that it was made of elven wood to the point where it, yeah it, yeah not so made. so she identified it as made of elven wood, built to withstand the siege. Is it dwarven craftsmanship, though? Uh, why are you all with advantage on whatever the appraised skill would be? Uh, history? Uh, it probably is, right? Like, is that our perception? I'll give you either, to be honest, really. What? What would you prefer? Uh, either or, same bonus. Yeah, sure. Probably, you know, either way, you're rolling with advantage anyway, so... Because, I mean, oh, you no. are of Dwarven make, so it makes sense. We'll go perception. Yeah. So, <clears throat> there are no discernible Dwarven tells to the design of this door. Okay. So, if a Dwarf uh, made it, they made it using a different technique. Yeah. Or, it's made by somebody else. Well, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So it's a door made of elven wood, built to be strong enough to withstand a siege in the Undermarch, where you were clearly involved in some kind of weird dark elf cult of reading books, and it seems to be like underneath, like what, forge and anvil, right? So. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. I'll relay that to the others that we're not smashing this down, and it. And I'm gonna just tell them that it wasn't made by dwarves. That's what I believe. So that's you testifying. You know what I'm gonna say next, don't you? Uh, don't know. Say it all in character. <laughs> oh. Uh, the, the, so okay, we got reach at the door next to me. So he sat down oh, to meditate yeah. after he knocked and about five or ten minutes pass of waiting on the result of the knock and nothing happens. So then I assume Bastille goes up to the door to inspect it in some fashion without the inspection skill but the perception skill. And yeah. Yeah. And then Arya is like way far away with Crumbot, right? They're not that far away. They're like yeah. they're they're like within ten feet, right? So I can say this, Crumbar ain't moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll go. Actually, I'll go. I'll walk over to Crumba and I'll explain to Arya. Um, this wasn't. This wasn't dwarves, and uh, I don't think we can smash this one down. Uh, I don't know if saving Crumba is a priority right now because I feel like <laughs> that's what he would do. We probably just need a key, and as soon as we get out of here, we'll find. We'll find a place to stabilize him. Let me take. Actually, can I can I give a medicine check again? And uh, yeah, on a, I'll check again. To figure out if his condition improved once I did my my healing spell. Sure, right? Yeah, uh, I'll just see if he's decaying over time. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Roll medicine. Sorry, I was with 
It's okay. Uh, no, he, he looks like he's perked up quite a bit since you last looked at him. Okay. More colour in his cheeks. Yeah, then I won't go back on what I said. It's a priority to get I'm just going to assume the Drift Globe is in the room with you, Bastille, so colour does exist here. Um, yeah. Yeah. It follows. Yep, it follows you anyway, so I'm could. assuming it's here. Mm -hmm. We could put him on one of the horses and take him with us anyway, aren't we? I thought that's what we did. Yeah, he's had, he's, he's, he's had been doing that, but I'm just assuming, play. given the uh, the time he's have taken, he's have maybe sat him down just to get a look at him. <laughs> So he's not bent backwards in a U shape. Yeah. For like <laughs> Wait, that's Cheers, why guys. I've been falling. It was the motion from the horse. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Because that would be the shape it fell in, right? The same U shape. Yeah. Mm. It's, um, well, then I'll go over to Reach. Faria is doing, is thinking about something else. And I'll, I'll ask him, I'll just say, uh, this one's going to take smarts. Um, I'm out of my depth here. I could I could have smashed it down if this was a normal door, but this uh, this isn't anything I'd recognise. Uh, yeah. It could easily be a magic door, but yeah. Uh, but magic technically, door. if it's a normal door, if we keep hitting it, eventually it will break, but how long would that take? Yeah. I mean, technically, if it's a magic door, if we hit it with a magic weapon, it will eventually break. Unless it's... Yeah, anyway. So I guess we should start looking for a key. Well, actually, I don't necessarily think there would be a key on the side they're trying to keep out. <laughs> so I would say, well, yeah, are they trying to keep out or keep in? Because it could just be like the, the dude we met. It could be where he's going to. So he might have had a key for it, but it's that's unlikely any of his henchmen would have had one. But that's. Uh, yeah. Have we searched everyone? No. We have. Yeah. We, oh, actually, have we searched the bodies? Yeah, we searched... have. Yeah, right. Nope. You have not. To answer your question, nope. you have not searched everyone. I, thought, I don't think so, right? Okay. Thanks, the bodies. We searched the bodies but... specifically for the key, but if they happen to have any gold or anything else, <laughs> we might have. <laughs> I don't know which ones we have and haven't searched, though. Mm. There's like well, 20. <laughs> so, why don't I uh, tell me who's having a look? Who's who's going on the search? I'm definitely going on the search anyway. Okay. Who's Can staying I go with, on it? Yeah. Who's, you're, you're on the search for a different thing. Are you. Um, Bastille as well, yeah. yeah. Arya might be. Yeah. Busy, uh, yeah. Stay. I don't know. Arya could stay with Grumbar, I guess. If, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I should probably. Whisper sweet nothings to him in Inferno. Get up, you fool! <laughs> Yeah, fight this. Mm -hmm. crackle, Walk crackle. away from the bar. Yeah. Don't go towards the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I'm wanting a beer now. <laughs> but yeah, so um, just want to give me an advantage investigate check then. Uh, Team search. Uh, whoever whoever oh, is rolling. I'm pretty good, but I'm rubbish at rolling. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm rubbish I'm at rolling. Bad, I'm dead for oh, twenty. I mean that. I mean that twenty. Are we? Are we not twenty? Do we find the red dragon baby eggs? <laughs> 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 you 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 find a a a, a glitch that teleports us straight to the end of the game. Yeah. Actually, if you just like pull on this lever at the side, the quick exit opens at the side, and you can just go back to the start of the dungeon straight away. <laughs> Oh dear, um, no. So you, you walk around. Maybe like Bastille heads down towards like where you met the dwarf, um, and maybe you head into like where you fought the mimic. Uh, and as you're like passing by the charred remains of the mage, you um, st like step over him and you see big crumbar shaped footsteps in his chest cavity that used to exist, <laughs> and uh, you can see something. Ever so slightly shiny in his chest cavity. And you reach in Beautiful. and you, you find a key on the corpse. No, were, the charred corpse be... of the mage. But roll initiative because the key's a mimic. Yeah, I thought you were going <laughs> to be waiting. Go, you see something shiny? Ah, it's just a gold coin, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's another mimic. Oh no. No. That would have been cruel. I've seen 
DMs give out weapons that are mimics, and that is cruel. Oh, that's what? Cool. Yeah. I freaking love the weapons. It's what? just horrible. It's it's just it's when you know you've pissed your GM off, and he's like, "Cool, here's an amazing Stop. looking sword. Yeah, it eats you. What? Yep, yeah. horrible. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, him. No, the, yeah, you find it's on the, the corp, like the burnt remains. That's a good idea for a punishment. That's one point if somebody's being an asshole. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. Shout out to Bastio. I've I found a key. Uh, head back to the door. I would say it. that that would like reach him, but it probably won't, given how much soundproofing is in this place now, um, and how far away he will be if he's going where the dwarf was. I'll go find him <laughs> specifically before I head to the door. Yeah, make no sure he knows. Yeah. So, yeah. You plow through. You find him. I, Bastio. Maybe you're like pouring through like the. I guess. Slightly half covered in fungus, like kind of yeah. prison room, if you will, the dungeon area. Yeah. Uh, checking out all the kind of the cages. Because I know you'd looked in the cages before to try and see if you could spot anything else um, as well. But yeah, like, but after like a good while passes for Rich to have got there and got back to you. Yeah. Mm. You, um, we have that scene. So, is there anything in particular you tell him or? Uh, uh, like, don't tell Arya what we'll do is we'll get her to go search and then we'll escape together. Tee hee hee. Like, that's not the best. Mm-hmm. Gee, thanks. Totally. <laughs> yeah, okay, Mistress of the Flame. Aha, uh-huh. aha. Uh-huh. True villain. Aha. Uh-huh. Sure. I'm on to you. <laughs> he says, teasing in GM. But anyway. Flame and Arrow and Wooden Door, you'd think that would mix nicely for us as well. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Won't go down that way. But yeah, uh, right. Just, yeah, Bastille, yeah, found the key in the mage's chest. Literally. <laughs> uh, I'll open my hand uh, in a sort of, can I see the key gesture? Yeah, it's okay, it's not a mimic, it's not at me yet, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's door. a mimic. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. You all get a mimic. The face hugger. You get a mimic, <laughs> and you get a mimic, and you get a mimic. <laughs> Sorry, I drew the crumbars for a mimic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take a look at it and um, try and gauge if there's anything inherently otherworldly or magical about the way it interacts as a locking mechanism? Is it just a regular key? Well, currently you're looking at a key, so how are you doing this? Um, I'll look for kind of arcane um, like marks from uh, enchanting something, you know how you like carve runes and stuff to form the enchantment on the surface. I'll look for that kind of craftsmanship. Uh, let's see. Two seconds. I'll just dump this in general chat. It's as about as exciting as that. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like it could not be more of a key if it tried. Or like, you know, maybe even like that. Like it's it's, it's key. super yeah. unexciting. Oh. Well, all right, then. So, you're still currently looking at a key. I'm not even going to make your roll to see how much of a key you notice it is. Because it's so much like a normal key. Uh, it hurts. Uh. But if you had something like, I don't know, Detect Magic or something, maybe. Nah. Nah. Yep, yep. Uh, well, I'll just look at it and I'll laugh at myself a bit embarrassed. Well, I could have made that. You must be joking me. Yeah, because it does. It looks Get super mundane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here. We need to save Crumbar. We're in a rush now. He's fine. He's stabilized. In fact, he looks a bit happier than last time. I checked on him. I think we're in a good place. I told you to walk away from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> He's at peace. Ah, in the void. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, can I? Can I give? Uh, reach the medicine, uh, like a look over for his health and see if he's ready for whatever might be waiting behind this door. Sure, yeah, roll medicine. It's 
to reach for you get like the key handed back to you after he laughs a bit, he just stares at you intently for a bit and then starts like <laughs> pulling at your robes a little, getting a good look over you. Uh, yeah, Reach, do you want to tell him anything medically important about you that he'd get by looking you over? About, a long... about three quarters fitness, uh, but feeling quite comfortable. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm about 63% of my yeah, capacity. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, yeah. like I don't mind if, like, if you take the time to make, like, you can just tell him hit points if you really wanted to as well. I don't yeah, mind if he's going to do a... That's 36 out of 45, so yeah. yeah that's... Okay. Like, I don't mind if you want to do stuff like actually take time with medicine checks, yeah, you're 100% welcome to share that info. I don't mind that. Um, that makes sense. It yeah. plays out the same. Yeah, so... Yeah. yeah. Right. It's just well, mid it's mid heated battle, you know. It's a bit bullshitty to know everybody's exact hit point value. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also think it, part of it's strategic in a game when you're trying to be a healer. So yeah, sometimes you need yeah. some indication. Like, oh, that really hurt. Like half my health hurt. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can be really hard to figure out when somebody needs actually needs healing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yeah. obviously some of us are more tanky and some of us aren't. Some also are a bit more like scary because. Yeah, you might be able to take another hit of the same one you took, but when you know that the damage dice can roll higher than they did, then you're a bit like, hmm, I actually can't well, take a potential like second legendary hit. Legendary action. Yeah, yeah, and shit like that. <laughs> but it's a lot of that's metting, which you wouldn't do in fights. You would just try and murder the thing murdering you, or trying to yeah. incapacitate it in some way. I like the murdering part. Me too. <laughs> this is why you're where you are. So. Well, you wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you just head back to Arya then? Yeah. What about well, in that yeah, okay. sorry in that particular scene? No, like, like, while you guys have been looking about, cause keep in mind it's like horribly four times movement and all that nonsense, and took a bit of time. Mm. What did you do when they both like left and said we're going to go search and look for a key? I am um, Arya, because that was probably uh, maybe twenty minutes ago. I would have first of all kept an eye on Crumbar mm-hmm. just to make sure he doesn't I don't know do something stupid and. Other than that, I would have just relaxed and sat down in a corner somewhere, maybe eaten a bit of my my food or something like that. Yeah. But I knew that we're not getting anywhere, and obviously the the door, like knocking on the door, had no effect, and I can't hear anything from the other side. So I'm hedging, I guess, that we're relatively safe here. So I would just stay put and stay chill. Mm-hmm. Basically. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, so I think by that point, like, <laughs> that's not okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's good to know though. And uh, I think, but like maybe they two just like start heading back. As they're heading mm-hmm. back, though, let's go back to Crumber. So Crumber, yeah, you're walking through, I guess, reverse plummeting dark smoke since it's all whipping past you, going up the way, as you walk, just step by step through the darkness um, like maybe at some point you turn around to try and give gauge like the how far have I walked right mm. and uh, there's no like no discernible difference from where you stood up to here right but I don't know like you've maybe been walking for an hour mm. or a day. It's difficult to tell. Oh my god, scene from uh, Castlevania just popped into my head there. Yeah? It's like not knowing how long you've been alone for. Oh uh, yes, yes. Also, mm. Alucard is B. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> it quote says, um... So you look around, yeah? Um... Anything immediately come to Crumber's mind? Just like, where the hell am I and how did I get here kind of thing? Can I ask a question out of character? Uh, you can, yeah. Has, has Crumber ever prayed to the gold worm for help? I mean... Probably. Yeah, that's, like every, that's, I was going to say, like, that, every I single mean, spell. I my magic Yeah. Game. Um... No, that's what I was thinking. Is of like I've got two options here. I can either ask, <laughs> ask 
the big GGW, or I could try and get in touch with Celeste. <laughs> Brings out mobile phone. Only enough tech, like put credit to send a text. Like, who to? Mum or dad? Mum <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, might yeah. shout at me, so I'll, I'll, I'll message dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you're like thinking, what do I do? Like, I don't even know if I've walked anywhere, but it feels like I've maybe walked for a day. Like, you mm-hmm. look around, obviously, you see. What was it, your last piece of dialogue you said? Um, was Crumbar sound like being lost? Or was that just yeah, thoughts? Um, or was that out into the darkness? Just like, where am I and how the hell did I get here? Yeah, and um, you feel someone tugging on like a piece of material from under your armour. From under? Like, as in, like, as if obviously you'll have like material under your armor what your armor sits on top of yeah so it's like the so someone's tugging, like tugging at your jumper essentially from inside my no. armor no nope. that's where the material right. comes from from right, inside okay. the armor um i'm your I'm armor old. was a mimic the whole time no <laughs> i've gone this is why i never used mimics i've gone mimic mad <laughs> so I got that. everything's Keepers a mimic the now. golden mimic mimics of the mimics um, of mimic um, yeah, That's actually not a bad title, it's terrible, but I love it. <laughs> one shot. Yep, 100% uh, one shot. Everything's a mimic, including the party. Including the players. Yeah. Inclu- <laughs> including the players. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will turn to see what it is that's tugging at me. Uh, yeah, you see Armos. <gasps> and you hear a... Uh, shot. Run so this little kid door. looks up and says, "Are you lost too, Mister?" Be like, Aramos. As soon as you say that, he kind of blows away with all the smoke. Oh, I see. This is the ending of God of War Three. I've not played that, so I don't know. Oh, neither have I. But God damn it, Ryan! Spoilers. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Screw um, me. <laughs> no <laughs> man. <laughs> Um, For all you Tom Holland lookalikes, yes, I, take that offer yeah. seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just kind of like start like wafting at the smoke mm-hmm. all around me, kind of thing, being like, "Well, he must be here somewhere," kind of thing. Like, where did he go? Yeah, and I think um, like as you start like kind of like walking towards where he was standing, and, like kind of waving the smoke away, you see. Instead of Eremos, you see Ordak Dorath standing there. That was the merchant guy. The not blue guy, yeah. Yeah, the not blue guy. Yeah. Um, Father. I'll be like, I'll just, I'll just like stand up and like look at him and be like, are you really here? He smiles at that and looks back at you. And he says, are you? I'm starting to doubt where I, if where I am is even real. I think he looks around and like, he puts his hand out into like the kind of black smoke. And it kind of like vanishes into the black smoke. And then he kind of pulls it back it's out. Like his, his hand? Yeah, he puts his hand out <laughs> oh, right, to the right, side okay, right. into some black smoke. And he right, hand pulls it right, back. Okay, no, right. And he pulls okay. it back and he looks at his hand. And he says, yeah, you might be right. Right, sorry, just to get the the image right in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be like, then how how do I get out of here? Then I seem to just walk and walk, but I don't find any walls or anything. In fact, how did you get here? And he smiles again. I think he looks up at you from his hand and puts his like hand back clasped behind him. And he says, Well, I came in with you. So you're a memory. He smiles. I'm inside my own head, am I? <laughs> I'm look, I? He looks around and he's like, A little dark, don't you think? 
<laughs> would be right for it's like well I would yeah sorry mumble up my words and like well I wouldn't be expecting sunshine but yeah maybe just a little bit dark and I think it like our deck looks around you might have um decorated you know personal items kind of just nods at you and kind of like smirks because he's clearly like teasing hmm. well why are you here though and he looks around as if he wasn't really listening he was too busy kind of like paying attention to the the, the non-decorated mind of crumber and then he <laughs> As if that's caught his attention. He goes, oh, I, I have no idea. You brought me here. So, and kind of shrugs. I know what you know. Well, I guess you don't... In, in that case, you won't, You don't know a way out. He kind of just looks blankly at you and blinks once. And I'll be like, hmm... Well, how do you expect to get out then? I'll wait for you to find a way out and I'll just follow. He just laughs once. Well, you ain't gonna help me, are you? Who says Memory. I'm not helping? And he smirks. I See? want to try something. Can I try playing the song that I sold him on uh, Pankler? Yeah, you can try. Yeah. Uh, do you want but me you to don't remember it. This is why I'm wanting to try yeah. and do it. Uh, will I roll for it? Or no, you don't remember it, so... Just straight up nothing happens? Yep. Like, you remember everything else except what you played and how you played it. Like, you know you can still play your pan flute, you know you can play any of the other songs that you know, you just can't yeah. play that one. Let's just play something else then. Uh... I want to see if this will have an effect. Damn, good roll. Yeah, so you play your music, and... Is it a happy tune, a sad tune? What's the tune? Like, w at what point in Crumbar's like life does that like? Where does that come from? That tune that you're playing? Because we know your first victory, your first mm -hmm. like hunt tune is the one you gave up. So, what's this one? This one is from when my child was born. Right. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um. So it's a so it's fairly kinda... happy tune. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of. <laughs> you know um something's been renewed mm -hmm. kind of thing yeah almost almost in a kind of you know what the tribe's given you you're kind of helping pay back as well right um because mm -hmm. you're helping to grow the tribe um that's it growth that yeah yeah so yeah there's this um song that starts playing and i think maybe when you look up um from playing the kind of the tune you're back in, like you're kind of hot from the tribe, and you're looking at, you know, your wife with your, you know, I, I don't know if wife's the right word, but yeah, your tribe partner mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> with your child. And she's kind of gesturing for you to, to take the kid. I'll, uh... Our deck's gone, by the way. It's just you in this place. Uh, I was, I was just, I was just about to yep, say that. Yep, don't worry. Um, I know. I'm in your head. Don't worry. <laughs> With your wife. Don't do um, that. I will reach out to pick up the wee baby. Yep. What the fuck is going on? And as you like, reach out to take your your kind of newborn kid. Um, as soon as like you go to take her, like all vanishes and billows away into smoke. Mm. And then. It, the small call forms this kid, this ten year old kid, standing in front of you. Being like it looks up through its long black hair that's all kind of pulled over its face. It looks up in the hair parts and it's just this small ten year old boy looking at you saying Did you forget about me?
do I recognise the face? Yeah, Zeramos. Again. Yeah, I was I was thinking it was him. I was like No Eremos, we will come for you. And like he turns to like go. I am um, and as he turns to leave he seems older. Like he seems like I don't know, maybe he's twenty now. I am um, Twenty? Yeah. And he's like you know, on like what height's Crumbar? Like six, seven foot? Six, six three. Uh, yeah, he's easily like six, he's, six. he's maybe even like six five, right in height. Yeah. Um, so he stands there, tall and slender, fairly well dressed, all black, kind of different layers of black clothing. Um, like very formally looking, dressed very skinny. Uh, again, long black hair, all kind of pulled to one side down his back, and he kind of turns back. And he says, but you did forget about me. And then he kind of walks off into the smoke and vanishes into the smoke. So meanwhile, <laughs> oh, meanwhile, uh, um, uh. we go back to the other team. And we get to open our door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah, you head back with the key. You see Arya there just sitting in the corner munching on some rations while a uh, Grumbar is KO'd in some fungi. Any luck? Yeah, we've got a key yeah, anyway, so we'll give it a shot. So we go. Oh. Yep, who's, who's, what was it? who's opening the door? Stick it in. I'll do it. Cool. Yeah, I think Arya said, said where was it or something like that to somebody. The, in the chest of a mage. Was it the key to his heart? Um, oh, Lord. Yeah. So maybe just it was in a pocket and uh, like somebody torched him and then you stood yeah. on him, maybe. His chest was quite wide open so it wasn't that awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Big half orc booted uh, footprint in him, yeah. And uh, I literally did describe in that session that Crumbar crunched his way through him. Um, uh, but yeah, so you you got up to the you hand the key to Bastille. Bastille, you head up to the door. Mm -hmm. Key and the lock. What were yeah. you turning? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? <laughs> <It's like>, uh, <laughs> what's um, what's the wall in convention? Uh, away. So yeah. if the door lock Top is right. to the left of the door, the, you would turn it clockwise. And if it was to the right of the door, you'd turn it anti-clockwise, as if you're turning away yeah, from it. So, so, you'll, cool, so you'll just turn away, assuming it's to the left, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So it can be the left, doesn't matter. Left or right, doesn't matter. Turn it, yep. Yeah. Um, as soon as you do that, the key and the door vanish. Ah. Wait, the door vanishes? Well, I have made that. Key and the door vanish. They just and like the door. as if it was um like, magic. like an image on the top of the surface of water, and as soon as you disturb the water, it's gone. Mm. Uh, the corridor ahead of you. Yep. Make sure uh, Crumbar's securely on the horse and start walking in. Uh, yeah, horses. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. You'd actually need to physically push your horse. That's to get right. through this. They're not big, uh, too big. Again, things can squeeze, but like, it's it's gonna hurt the horse, probably, trying to get them through this. Don't, don't the... hurt the horses. <sighs> it's, I thought we're dragging you by your feet. Tiny, is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? What's that, sorry? The door's too tiny, is that what you're saying? I'm saying yeah. that you could you Before could get the horse through the door, but the horse will not like you for it, and it'll probably try and kick you a lot, trying to get it through it. It mm -hmm. would be very distressing. But it, it, hey, like, you, if, you're strong. If, Can you not make the door bigger? Oh. Now that it's open. <laughs> well, um, why not try? Mm -hmm. I'll smash the side of the door frame with a pickaxe. Cool. Athletic check. 
pickaxe is going to break. <sighs> Trust me, I Just know how. Just because it happened oh. to you doesn't mean it has to happen to everybody I... else. Not everybody has to feel Can your you pain. Just... Bess, I just listened to the earlier audio description I gave you for the six athletics yeah. check. Yep, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Might take a while. Do mm. we uh put him out of the misery? Are you suggesting we kill the horses? Please don't kill the horses. Oh, yeah. You don't even know where this goes yet. Well, if you don't you kill the horses anyway, and we could leave them here and they could eat the mushrooms for a I was good thinking time. that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's anyway. more than enough vegetation for them to live on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Like, but somebody it's not might like... steal them, that's a lot more likely, but yeah. they wouldn't die of somebody hunger. Somebody else's curry. Yeah. I think they would. I feel like you can't just eat floor fungus from a dark elf shithole. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. I, I think so That's a good description for the session, isn't it, really? <laughs> just past Dale's journal. Horses were a problem today. I suggested they couldn't just eat, you know, floor fungus from a dark health shithole. However... I totally unrelated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. exactly. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you can leave the horses here, right? Like, I guess if you set up some kind of water puddle they'd probably be okay right for a bit at least everybody relieves themselves in the corner <laughs> <laughs> how are we getting this information about the horses is, is aria sharing this with us in distress or do we just know looking at the hole that we're gonna to have to make a decision here i feel like looking at the the size of the doorway and the corridor beyond you'd know that pushing a horse up that would be very um distressing uh then i'll tap breach on the shoulder and i'll say do you want to take a look before we we sort that out? And I nod towards the horses. Yeah, looks so. Yeah, it looks so. The horses aren't coming with us anyway. So yeah, carry on in the hallway. Go in the hallway. Corridor. Right, yeah, I am. Um, it's incredibly well crafted. Like it's <gasps> like flawless stonework. Yeah. Faint. <laughs> How Do far the up? Should we continue up here? Nope. Up here? Nope, nothing goes past the past. the threshold. Yeah. Yeah. Go up at least a hundred uh, hundred feet anyway. I should be able if it's flawless or not, I should be able to shout down. It's yeah, looking so, good so far. So like yeah. it's a bit a wee bit twisty and a wee bit turny, um, because it's not like a straight line, but it is um all immaculately carved. Like it was you could be on the inside of like a building for all you know, right? It's like all deliberate it's not cave like yeah. at all there's a heat dwarf from somewhere forces. as well um yeah. it doesn't look specifically dwarven which is weird dwarven has a lot of art deco vibes to it um instead of art nouveau right art nouveau is elves art deco is dwarves so so it looks quite elvish then uh, no it just is immaculately carved stone sure i am um, there's no like specific elven or dwarven tints to it i am um, but you gotcha. You go obviously like a hundred feet up, right? And you look back and yeah, like you've travelled way further than a hundred feet. Uh. Hey guys, you wanna come up here? You'll be able to run like me. Uh, <laughs> you just can't hear that from where you are. Right, no reaction, right. Yeah. I'll go back to them. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you get back there within like a hundred feet, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. It appears as though you travel faster going through the corridor. That's maybe a shortcut. Hopefully, to where we're going. Oh. End up in the DM. I would bet on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn wizards! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 100 feet. So empty. Empty. Uh, very easy to travel on. Very nice. Uh, warm as well. Warm. Mm. Yeah. Hot? No hot. Just no, warm. Just, yeah. just warm. Like yeah. like a very yeah. comfortable home. Yeah. yeah. Central heating is nice. Yep. Yeah, not like uh, a dank cave. You know. I don't mean dank. Like down with the kids. <laughs> 
Oh god, right, that was hard. That's just true, it's just a stupid term. It's been rebranded. Oh god, no. So, what? are we going down the weird super highway? Well, yeah, I'll turn to Arya and I'll say it's time to make a decision about these horses. The horses make some horse noises over in the horse topia, wherever you have put them. <laughs> See, just leave them and head on your way. Well, they ain't going anywhere else, being there, so. Oh, well, one of them did. <laughs> yeah. Shh, we do not speak well. of them. I mean, horses don't have dark vision, they're just going to be in darkness forever until they die. Yeah. It's okay, so it's Crumbar. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, come on, let's just put them out. Let's put them down. No. Are you joking? You want to leave them? You just want to seal them away, like the ring or some shit. We're not gonna seal them away. We'll come back for them. Three ghost horses as a boss fight coming up later. <laughs> oh my god, that would be awesome. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Uh, I will definitely leaving them out. Yeah. So how does that decision play out then? That's yeah. Completely leave that up to the druid. I have no. Mm -hmm. uh, Desires either way. Yeah, they're not dark elves, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and dark horses, but not dark elves. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> they're related. <laughs> oh, no. Conspiracy. Sets them off. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how it works. <laughs> Go on, Arya. Make your call, Druid. What do you think a Druid would say? Of course I'd be all for leaving them here, because we are going to come back, and what? if we what? don't, then there's a very good chance somebody else will find them, but... Why, why yeah. would we come back here? Yeah, why not? No... Why, why, what would we be doing here again? Well, we'll be, when we'll be coming back from a... Yeah, we will return. It's Anvil? not like we're going to stay there forever. Forges yeah. where you are heading, anvils where you yeah. came from. Yep. When we come back from Forges, where we'll be. be a bit no, sorry. Away. When we come back from so we Anvil, as back. we'll be coming through here. Hmm. I mean, you might. I might not. We've got a frost reach as well. That's a long time. Oh, oh no. Really. Whatever. If you want to leave them here, then by all means. They're not my pets. Mm. So, Druid, what's your judgment call? They leave them here because, you know, at least this way there's a chance that they mm -hmm. will either, you know, be alive for us when we come back or somebody else might find them here, but just killing them would be... Especially since they have more than enough plants around them. Plus, they were expensive. Oh... As someone who's been locked away for over a hundred years, um, I'll, I'll probably, in character, I'll probably I'll look at her and I'll say, "If if I was a if I was a being of flesh, I would have lost my mind a thousand times over. I was alone, well, almost. Wink. Uh, it was it was cold. It was dark." Uh, it was nothing but a canvas for my mind to toil and I don't think that these horses will ever be the same again if you leave them down here and I also don't think they have a chance of surviving without us goodness I just realised something what? I was banking on the fact that horses remember their way out and I was my next thing was going to be like but they'll just find their way out. They'll just roam here a bit and then find their way out. But then I realized that they don't see. That's the only thing. Could you not just speak to the horsey and be like, hey, buddy? Um, yeah, what's your you, votes? You Where be, are thought to leave you here or kill you? So... Are you okay if we leave <laughs> you here? Um, I could technically speak to animals, but I think. It's one of the spells I need to choose, and I don't have it chosen oh, for today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair That's enough. the only thing. 
Isn't that a kick in the pants? Because I don't think I just naturally have talked to animals <laughs> for being a druid. That would be kind of cool, but not something I'd expect. No. I think, uh, I think you get it later as a druid. But you either let but... me sleep here, and I wake up and suddenly can speak to them again, which would be cool. <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, whatever. We... This is a cool chance for like a really like drastic I mean, character it... decision. To be honest, we could literally, likely, sleep here. Everybody's gonna regain hit points. I'm gonna get all my spells back, and yeah, like, then in the morning I speak to the horses. Or yeah, what mind, I could try to, is fashion wait, something. You'd need to wait 24 hours because you've already had a long rest. Remember? I did. Also, yeah. like in oh, you so all my combat. spells are not gonna be like okay. So I do have my spells back then. So. What, what what does Arya think? Like, does she, how? Um... No, no. You've had a long rest, then you got up and went and fought a mimic. Yeah. So, that's already yeah, been done. Yeah, but I wouldn't have used all four of my. Apparently, you did, because that would already have been sorted out by now. That would have been done last. You were rolling your usual. Oh, so that's <laughs> remaining four. No, I misread earlier when I was healing Crumbar. I all I had all, I just healed him a bit more than I should have. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Um. Yes, actually, you're right. Oh, shit. I don't Crumble know what to do. Right now, too. Like, I, like, how, we uh, kill them, there we go. Because I'm not sleeping this side of the door, <laughs> anyway. Oh. Mm. And if we sleep the other yeah. side of the door, there's a chance it'll close. How, oh, how about we Damn. ask Kitty? <laughs> what should we do about this? <laughs> yeah, no response from Kitty. She shrugs and puts there herself on mute. This is where... <laughs> <laughs> there are places where, like, so hello, are Sophie. Shout out to you. Um, <laughs> love you, really. Um, see, that's the thing. Like, I could try to fashion something to. This like, is just me proving that it's not me that's holding you guys back. back with door puzzles. It's now you guys. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. With I know. moral dilemmas. It's completely. Yeah. Anything you want to do, just do it, because I, I don't have a say either way, I don't really care what we, like, you know. Yeah, well, I'm going unconscious, do, so it's really between you and Reach, yeah. Reach said kill them, okay. move on, and you're, what, what's Arya doing? Uh, I'm thinking of trying to fashion a thing so that one of them has light on their back, so they always have light on, but obviously that's not going to last forever, but only for however long the camera lasts for. That is <laughs> so fucked. I'd love the idea of putting a torch, put a torch on the back of them, in an oxygen-enriched <laughs> fungal environment, um, so that when it eventually tips over, it burns the horse it's on, spooks that one, falls into the fungus, and either goes out leaving them in darkness spooked, or catches fire to the entire place. <laughs> That is how I foresee yeah, that. You can clean all the vegetation out of it? Yeah, right? So no, it make I'm it much. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Okay, like, I guess the kindest thing right now is to. Uh, uh, can I just say, right? I feel like yeah. druids are more at peace than anyone with the hunter prey dynamic and the concept of. Doesn't mean you say that she is, though, right? Like, that's. that's yeah, not, but like... they're. Yeah, but... If you're just going like, what would a druid do, and your mind's going to hippie rather than what but would I do? But they're not. No, 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 no. It's the idea of like they're not bunnies. They are prey, but they're large herbivores, so they usually wouldn't get eaten. And just because of their size, they wouldn't really have much to fear from that point. I mean, they're just naturally skittish because they're naturally skittish because they're stupid. Like if I was the size of a horse, there aren't a lot of things that I'd be afraid of, but. You know, here yeah, we it's go. like the concept of returning something to nature and allowing death. Yeah, to that's that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking. So uh, this is giving me likely. an existential crisis here. <laughs> oh, sorry. And, he, and he's already got one. Okay, so let's just leave him with yeah, the one he has to do with. You know, they just stack for him. <laughs> just go, like like you know the the scream from Munch where he puts his hands on his face. Yeah. You know, like the ripple. Um, Fine, okay, then I guess we will have to slay them, but obviously in a quick and hopefully... Who's um, putting them out of their misery? Possible. And we'll have that done off camera. I'll do it. Yeah. Do you actually have fun. anything bladed? 
Nope. <laughs> my fist was still just to it. Punch a horse. In <laughs> it? Yes. Yeah. No, I got, I got oh my pickaxe. I should just pickaxe. Sorry, but like, oh my god. All right, yeah. so I was trying to avoid being super graphic for the sake of um. I've got, I've what got that? daggers. So, yeah. Yeah. So whoever, whoever wants to deal with that, you can just take them off, off screen, and we can just fade out. <laughs> Can you know, well, in under six seconds, I should have a so horse yeah, dead. I, I definitely have <laughs> yeah. Man. Okay, I guess. That's quite humane. It's, it's something. Um, so anyway, yeah. We fade out on you guys. Um, and we freaked out and we had so much care of them. And we were like, oh my god, they, lo they got lost. Which were they going? Mind the horses, save the horses. And then... Ah, let's punch them. <laughs> 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 to be oh, fair, wow. your fists are magical weapons, so that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's do, let me kill them with a spork from McDonald's. Like, <laughs> slowest possible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be fair, you could choke on that spork and you might die quicker, so that's valid. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's fine, she can get them to eat yeah. red mushrooms and be hallucinating with hmm. no idea what's happening anyway. Yeah. I've probably been eating most of them <laughs> when you slept yeah. anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah. Who knows what trip they're on, but yeah. So, uh, Crumber. Yes. Yeah. So. Just you know, hanging around. Young adult Eremos turns his back to you and walks off into the black smoke. I think you're in the middle of trying to shout something to him. I. Word of shouted back. I never forget. I it's like. I forget no one, and then I'll like start chasing towards them again. Is that Draco? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I don't forget anyone. Everyone's a Draco. The Omni's a Draco. Um, so, yeah, I think you you say obviously I don't forget anyone. I am, um, and like he like he stops and he turns like a half turns back to you, and holds up your axe. As it's kind of like writhing, and then if you listen, you hear like wailing and moans and agony and pain and shouts and battle cries and cheers and you hear the tribe, yeah, come from the axe, and he just drops it at like the feet, and it makes this big echoey clattering noise as it rattles on the ground. The big great axe, and he just looks at you. I reach out to grab him. Yeah. You grab him. And be like, "What are you doing with that?" And he, like his his eyes go from like looking down at the, you grabbing his arm, and he just looks up at you, and then you realize the rest of him kind of turned to smoke as his face dissipates. Um. I'll reach down and pick up my axe then and just kind of yep. put it on my back. As you um, stand back up, everything's white. No more black smoke. Just be like... Everything's blinding white light. Um, I'll like shield my eyes a bit and just be like... There's someone that's standing in front of you that actually causes shade to hit on you um, oh right okay and then oh, there's yeah. a silhouette no yeah so like you go you shield your eyes and then all of a sudden this figure appears that's casting shade as it were not just stew normally but like the uh, the person comes into focus and it's Celeste kind of looking at you very placidly and she says Crumbar you've gotten yourself as lost haven't you you could say that. And like bit. she turns to like look to the side and then like the white light just like immediately like vanishes like, the black smoke like ripping past you again. I think as that happens, like I'd kinda of be like, ah right, drop my arm, don't need to kinda of shade myself as much anymore. Mm. And be like Well, do you know where I am? She looks around. Yeah, somewhere between places. Mm. And how do I get back to the place I'm meant to be? 
she just smiles. And it's got the warmth of like a nice summer's day that hits you. And she says, isn't that an interesting way to phrase that? Get back to where you are supposed to be. Where are you supposed to be, Grumbar? Her eyes glow red. Very big, vibrant red. Starfield, you know. Standard Celeste MO. With the rest of my party, we still need to get back the Black Fang Spear. We had it, but you didn't show up. I think as you say that, like a young Aramos at ten, like runs in between the two of you and like runs from the black smoke into more black smoke between you, and she kind of just watches him run. Do you know who that kid is? Does it matter? What you sent us for. So you know who that kid is, using like your kind of tones when she says that, as if it's your voice saying it back. Yes, I do. And who is that it? Was, that was Ermos, but he also went by the Black Fang Spear. That's what you wanted us to get. I sent you for a weapon. You offer me a child? She smirks. Trust me, I'm as confused as you. And I know my weapons. She looks down at your axe in your hand, um, mm -hmm. which is now in your hand, not on your back. Yes, you seem to. I think you knew your weapon very well. Too well, this one. I'll just kind of grip it tighter. Yeah, and there's just like, you're, you hear like the cries of the, the chieftain that you fought, right? Um, Hulking Susan, I believe, we called them. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, it was a oh, uh, Suzanne, episode. yeah. So, like, Suzanne, you hear, like, um, the encouragement Suzanne would have gave tribal members, right? Um, when going off on hunts and stuff, and, you know, mm -hmm. very kind of macho bravado bullshit. Um, you know, you kind of, like, fuck up on a hunt or a raid, and you get picked up and punched and said, don't worry about it, that's what we're here for, you learn. You're still alive. Mm. Deal with it, right? So you've got loads of fond memories flooding back of like what you remember being in the tribe. Um, again, all the good stuff, pretty much. Um, I like good stuff. Yeah, right. And uh, then you've got the kind of like, like Suzanne standing over you, and then he kind of like warps into hulking Suzanne, um, with all the kind of like dark, smoky magic writhing all over him, and then there's just like the the kind of blow by blow replay of you like kind of absolutely eviscerating the guy. I, I, yeah, I was I was gonna say it's like if he's standing in front of me, I'm gonna swing the fucking axe at him. Um, like, maybe like as you're like thinking about it, like you grip the axe tighter on your hand, yeah, and then uh, yeah. you just you see the impacts hit him already. Like you're not even having to move. You just remember what happened during that particular uh, session uh, as you absolutely annihilated your old chieftain. I'm just stuck in front of YouTube, I'm in there, that's it. So actually it's the clip episodes, we ran out of budget, so yeah. this is, we just play old bits of old episodes. Um, it's standard in every TV show, I'm sorry buddy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you're, um, you see that, and like Celeste seems to be kind of like taking it in as well. And she says, yes, it seems like a lot has happened since we last met. Are you any oh. further forward in completing the task I set you to? We have been sidetracked somewhat. I can see this, but, but it seems like these were steps you had to take. Yes, we must. There is someone we need as an ally for us to get back what was taken from us. She kind of just stares at you, her eyes kind of burning, as they do. Cool. And she Mom's says, mad. "No, no, it's just her. Her eyes are bright red. Yeah, starfire. Uh, right. Uh, so there's, there's, yeah, still the, there's still the photo of her in the thingy NPC list. But she, um, she just kind of stands staring, and she says, uh -huh. "Can you elaborate? Who is this ally you seek?" 
Her name is Princess Justoria. She has been very helpful to us, but currently with the demon invasion, we need to stop that first so that we can get her help in retrieving Eremos back. So they've already made it through, have they? There is a breach at uh, the Abyss. Currently, all of the Golden Order are down there trying to hold back, but they're failing. She looks at you and she like puts like a finger on your chest and she says, Not all of the Golden Order. Hmm. You are here. Have this kind of like smirk and be like, Yes, wherever here is. It is between places. And how do I get, then how do I get to a set place from here? Again, she looks, ar yeah, she, she looks around at like the kind of, all the kind of darkened, kind of smoke whipping past. Mm. And she says, Can you hear the voices? Can I roll perception? Because I'd be like, after she says that, I'd just kind of be like trying to listen out. Uh, sure, but do it with advantage. Yay! Uh, perception's the one that I can never... Uh, boop! Yeah. <laughs> I, like, mean, I think okay. you strain and you listen, and you only hear the kind of whipping smoke wind type, type noise, right? Mm-hmm. And like you kind of listen, and you kind of strain, but no, it's just this wind that you hear. black smoke. I'll look, I'll look back up at Celeste and go, all I can hear is uh, the wind. Watch, what voices. This is a place to many destinations. You are between. It seems that you need to choose where you are going. And then she um, looks around again, as if, you know, somebody that's trying to take in a new place. And mm. she kind of says, like, kind of half over her shoulder. I only hear screaming and agony and the lost when I stand here. You can't hear the voices? She kind of turns back and looks at you. If I try and listen again, will I get just the same result? No, you still, still hear the wind, yeah. I still can't hear anything. Maybe my orcish heritage has made me drown out screaming. And I just kind of laugh. I think she laughs as well. And she says, I think your orcish heritage is the reason you still stand. Is that okay now? Like, if she says that, I, like, I kind of be like, hmm, and a bit more kind of. Yeah, like, tried to almost. Yeah, 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 a bit more kind of uppity about myself. And she says, Your people are not a plague upon this land like many deem you to be. You are not a stain to be washed clean. You are a noble people that are lost. Your old perception for me now, buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, with advantage? Still, or? yep. It's going to be double wind, isn't it? Snake eyes. <laughs> Look at that, it's ever so slightly better. <laughs> I think um, you still only really hear the wind, but there's like definitely more to it than initially you heard. It's as if like um, maybe you think you hear something, but maybe you're listening deliberately too hard and maybe you're just thinking that you're hearing stuff on the wind, right? Mm. I'll just say um, I don't I still don't know what you're wanting me to hear but as from my people I am, I am going to be the thing that stops the 
uh, the stains of this world, be it with my own blood or whatever, it will be me that stops it. So she turns to kind of like regard you fully. She kind of stands there in her kind of big hooded robe thing she wears. She's kind of almost blending into the smoke herself, and she says, I think this is why you are here among the lost. I don't believe I've ever heard of someone washing a stain away by staining it worse. You've she she definitely heard. does sound disappointed the way she says that as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Reckless. By all means, I don't mean I will be leaving stains. I just mean that I am willing to do whatever it will take. I chose you for this reason. Your determination was a virtue I see in you. Your hate holds you back. Violence has been a good answer so far for everything. She puts her hand up to kind of like interject. And she says, Violence and hate are different. And what is it that I hate? She just points at you. Oh, Freudian. No, I... He doesn't even exist in wherever the hell we are. <laughs> 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 I mean, as you're like lost in the thought of her pointing at you and blowing your mind, she says, Violence is a tool to be used like any other tool. Your violence has been useful. Your hate serves no purpose but to hold you back. And how do I get rid of it? She just kind of like looks at you for like a... Probably what feels like forever right in this place but it's probably only like maybe 30 seconds. She kind of just stares at you in silence for that length of time. And she looks at uh, your axe and she says, you carry it with you, like your axe. I would suggest you make it useful or you discard it. And she puts her right. hand out, like palm up, as if waiting on you to hand her something. Um. Something like my axe. I'm seriously trying to think what to hand her. I mean, why don't you take stock of the situation you're in, right? Because, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're in the black, smoky blackness of void space, which is apparently a place between places that can get you to anywhere, right? So there, that's that's specific for you. Um, Celeste's there, is she? Mm. And she puts her hand out and the only thing you've got is that axe made of all your dead tribe people that got corrupted by demon magic. And she says you're carrying your hate with you and you hate yourself and you saw you murder that tribe. So, yeah. It's a bit yeah. heavy. I'll pass her over blood debt. Um, so she takes blood debt in her hand and uh, she holds it and there's like a kind of hissing sound um, that just gets louder and louder and louder as you hand that to her and like from her grip on it you can see like white hot sparks appearing and it just gets brighter and brighter and brighter and like it starts to become uh -huh. blinding um, yeah, I was gonna say as it starts getting brighter, I'd probably like be like turning my eyes away and just be like, ah. 
and then you just hear through the hissing, the kind of big deep booming voice of Celeste saying, no, look, learn. It's very commanding. So I just kind of start turning myself back towards it and like lifting my hand away and like opening my eye. Like, you know, that way, like when like you turn your light on in a bed, like in mm -hmm. a dark room and then you're like, ah, and then you're like opening your eyes slowly. Just that kind of. Yeah. And you think it's not specifically painful to look at. It's just oh. you're aware it's super bright. And uh, yeah, it gets brighter, 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 brighter and brighter. And then it's suddenly like the entire place is just an explosion of white light and I guess somewhere halfway up a corridor with everybody else, like somehow between Reach and Bastille, carrying Crumbar and Arya maybe leading the way, Crumbar just goes <gasps> and wakes up and probably gets dropped to the floor. Um, and we'll take our break there. Bye. Fuck, you know. And I'll see you everybody at nine o'clock. Yeah, Damn. so say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.